Hello and welcome back or welcome to if you are new here. My name is Charlie and today I have a fluid vinyasa yoga flow for you. This practice is a non-stop flow, which means we'll be moving continuously throughout the class until we wind down at the end. This is a class for every level, so don't worry if you're a beginner, there's going to be plenty of modifications. And if you are a little bit more intermediate or even advanced, there's going to be some more challenging postures in the mix for you too. When you're ready, we're going to get started in child's pose. So you have the option to keep the knees together or to open them wider like I am. Then walking your hands forwards, we're just going to take the first five breaths here to settle into our practice. So as you come down to the ground, bring your awareness to your breath. Soften your belly, relax your shoulders. Just focusing on your body and your breath. Breathing in through the nose now. On your exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. Two more like that. Inhale deeply. Exhale, sigh it out. One more. Inhale. And exhale to let it go. And you can lift your head a little bit. Thread your right arm under your left. And turn your head to look left so that you can lower the side of your head to the mat. Taking three steady breaths here. Still giving you plenty of time to check in. And get present, ready for our practice. Final breath here. Inhale. Exhale. We'll switch. So coming back through to your child's pose. And threading left arm under right, turn the head to the right as you lower it down to the mat. Stay with your breath, breathing in through the nose. Option to breathe out through the nose or your mouth. Final breath here. At the end of your exhale, come back into child's pose. And then we'll come up into tabletop. So setting your hands and your knees. Starting with a few rounds of cat-cow. On your inhale, dip your belly, arch your spine, gaze forwards. On your exhale, round your back, push the floor away. Bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, finding a back bend. Exhale, rounding your spine. Keep that going. Synchronizing your movements with your breath. One more of these. On your inhale, as you find your back bend, tuck your toes, lift your hips, press back into downward facing dog. Keep the heels lifted so you're just on the balls of your feet, then ripple forwards into plank. Bend your knees, dip your belly, push back, downward facing dog. Keep that going. So ripple forwards into the top of a high plank. Bend your knees, dip your belly as you push back, downward facing. Two more to go. Move with your breath. One more. Nice. Meeting me back in downward facing dog. Start to pedal out your legs. And at the same time, swing your hips side to side. So you're just transferring your weight into the left hand, left foot, and then the right hand, right foot. Beautiful. Find a moment of stillness. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, big sigh out. Good. Step your feet together. Bend your right knee. Then turn to your left, coming into a side plank. Left hand comes to the right knee. Begin to turn and point the knee up to the ceiling. If this is a little too much, you could always just lower the right foot down so you're still getting the twist. 
Push the floor away, hold for an inhale. As you exhale, sit your hips down, then hug the left arm, round your right leg, and turn to gaze behind you. Sitting up nice and tall in your twist, take a deep inhale, and then twist a little deeper with your exhale. Two more, inhale, lift, lengthen, exhale, twist. Last one of these, inhale, lift, Exhale, twist. Good. And turning to face forwards, let your right knee open out to the right side. And then reach arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold forwards. You could always bend the knee if you need to modify here. Relax your chin to the chest. Finding a few moments of stillness. Great, inhale, lift back up. Then you'll lift your right knee up, plant the foot, place your left hand behind you, then push the floor away as you lift up into wild thing. Lift your hips, lift your heart, take a deep breath in. Then gaze down at your left hand for balance and lower the right hand next to it. Then you're gonna flip over, come into plank. If you've landed off your mat, just scooch back onto your mat. Hold plank for an inhale. On your exhale, lower down for chaturanga. Lower the knees if you need to modify. Coming all the way down to the belly. Then inhale, coming up into cobra. Keep it a low cobra for now, so it's a little easier as we're still warming up. Big breath in here. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Set your hands and your feet, take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. Step the feet together, bend your left leg, then you'll turn to your right, coming into side plank. Again, the right hand will hold your left knee to bring you into the twist. Remember, you can always lower that left foot for a little bit of assistance. Try to stay as much in the twist as you can as you hold for an inhale. On your exhale, sit the hips down, right arm wraps around the left leg. Turn to gaze behind you in the twist. Beautiful, slowing things down a moment. Inhale, think of lifting from the crown of your head. Exhale as you twist and look left. Keep that going for two more breaths. Beautiful. You'll turn to face forwards. Let your left knee fall to the left side. Arms up, inhale. Exhale, folding forwards. Again, you can keep a little bend in that right knee if it helps. Slowing things down for two more breaths. Wonderful. Sit back up, lift the left knee, plant your foot, place the right hand behind you, then pushing the floor away, lift up into wild thing. Lift your hips, lift your heart as high as you can. Hold for a breath in. As you exhale, look down at your right hand for balance, lower the left and flip into your plank. Come back onto your mat if you've landed off. Push the floor away in your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. This time you can either take cobra or come all the way through to upward facing dog. Hold for a breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Great work. Find your natural rhythm of breath. Good. Then lifting the right leg high, three-legged down dog. Keep your hips square for now. Try to lift using the back of the thigh. So you should feel some engagement in the glutes and the hamstrings. Hold for an inhale. As you exhale, bend your right knee, bring it forwards and across the body to tap your left elbow. Extend the leg out to the side, lower the foot, then reach your left arm up, pushing the floor away in your fall and start. Again, on your exhale, sit your hips down. So this time you land in a straddle. Face the space in between your legs. You have the option just to stay sitting up, feet flexed, knees pointing up, 
or you could fold forwards. As you fold, you may feel the intensity build, so go slowly, stay with your breath as we hold five, four, three, two, and that's one. Sit yourself back up. Place your hands at the top of your mat. Then turn your back foot to face forward so that you can lift your hips. Bend your right leg, glide it onto the mat to come into pigeon pose. You may need to do a little bit of adjusting here and that's okay. Make sure the hips are square. And then from here, you can either stay seated or you could fold forwards, whichever works for you. Slowing things down as we hold five, four, three, two, and one. Lifting the chest if you fold it forwards. Now sit over on your right side to free the back leg and plant your back leg in front of you. Now here's the challenge. Shift your weight into that front leg. See if you can lift your hips and then stand up. Extend your right leg back to come into your warrior three. Draw the arms back. Focus the gaze on one spot. Holding three, two, at the end of one, lower that back foot. Ground down through both heels as you extend both legs, and then you're going to fold forwards here. This can be a little tough for the hamstring, so if you need to bend that front knee, go ahead, make it easier for you. Find a place to rest your hands. Relax your chin into your chest as we hold five, four, three, two, and one. Now plant your hands and you'll sweep your front leg all the way back into three-legged down dog. Keeping the hips square, lift the leg as high as you can so you're looking to feel that engagement in the back of your thigh and your glutes. Hold for an inhale. On your exhale, bend your knee, bring it across the body to tap your right elbow. Extend your leg out to the side, lower the foot, then reaching the right arm up, fall and star. Think of opening your chest to face the sky. Hold for an inhale. As you exhale, hips will sit down and then we'll fold forwards in our straddle. You decide how far you go here. So you can either dial it up or down so the practice is always serving you. Three more steady breaths. Good, sit yourself back up. Plant your hands, turn to face forwards. Then lift your hips, bend your front leg and glide it onto the mat coming into pigeon. As you lower the hips, don't worry if you need to uh, reset a little bit and you can always stay lifted with the chest or you could fall forwards. Find that place where you can settle into stillness for the next five breaths. Just noticing your inhale and your exhale. Nothing else to do but breathe and hold. Wonderful. Sit yourself back up. Sit over on your left to free your back leg, then step the foot forwards. Again, use your momentum to shift forwards. And as you stand up, extend your left leg back, coming into warrior three. Hands can be in prayer, arms can draw back, whatever works. Focus your gaze on one spot as we hold three, two, and one, lower that back foot. Remember to ground down through both heels, extend both legs to begin. Then find a place to rest your hands. And if you need to make any adjustments here, you can always find a little bend in the front knee. As we hold five, four, three, two, and one, beautiful. 
This time you're going to step your back foot all the way forwards to come into a forward fold. So you have the option to keep the feet hips width or you can take them a little wider if you prefer. You can hold onto the backs of your legs or ankles if you want to draw yourself in deeper. Bring your chin into your chest, lengthen the back of your neck and release any tension there. Good. Rounding your back now very slowly as you inhale, roll all the way up to stand. Coming up vertebra by vertebra. Step your feet together and then step one foot back to come into a straddle stance down the long side of your mat. Keep your heels where they are, open your feet out and bend the knees. Then start to sink your hips low. So we're looking to get the hips in line with the knees for our goddess. You can rest hands on thighs or knees for now and we'll just rock side to side. Keeping those hips as low as you can and try to open the feet out as much as you can so you get real external rotation through the thighs. A lovely deep hip opener. Okay, find where center is, hands in prayer. We'll hold five, four, three, stay low, two, and one. Beautiful, extend your legs, bring your feet in parallel. Then you'll turn both feet to face the right side of your mat and lower your back knee down into lunge. Let your front knee track forwards past your ankle so you get this deep hip flexor stretch on the left side. You can keep back toes tucked or untucked and reach arms up, inhale. Bring your hands together and bend your elbows so your hands will draw towards the back of your neck or maybe in between your shoulder blades. We're looking to lift your elbows up, opening the whole front of the body. Holding for three, two, and one. Beautiful. Lower the hands, then extend your front leg, move your hips back, flex the foot. If you have really long legs here, you may find that you need to shuffle the foot further forwards. Then you can either keep the chest level with the ground or fold, bringing belly towards your thigh. This one can be really intense, so work with your breath as we hold three, two, one. Beautiful. Lifting the chest, rebend the front knee, reach your arms up, inhale. As you exhale, twist to your right, open your arms out into a T-shape. Option to work the twist like this, or option to bend your left elbow, cross it over your right knee, and bring hands into prayer. So this one can be a little more challenging. You're looking to press your elbow against your knee and your knee against your elbow, so you create a little bit of resistance there. If you want to make it more challenging, tuck the back toe, lift your knee, and we'll hold five, four, Three, two, and one. Lower the back knee if it's lifted, release the twist. Plant your hands, lift your back knee. Then turn your feet to the long edge, turning left. Keep walking your hands left as you turn your feet and drop your right knee now, coming into low lunge. Front knee will track past the ankle, arms will reach up. Again, getting that deep hip flexor stretch. Then bringing hands together, elbows bend, opening the chest, coming into a little back bend now. Steady your breath. I know this one can feel super intense down the front of the right thigh, so breathe through it. Good, now lower the hands, extend your front leg, move your hips back. If you need to shuffle the front foot forwards to create more space, that's also an option. You can either keep the chest level with the floor or you can fold forwards. Mm. 
Great. Now lifting the chest, rebend the front knee. Arms come up. Inhale. As you exhale, twist to your left. Open your arms out in a T shape. So first option is to stay here. If you'd like to go deeper, bend your right elbow, cross it over your left knee and bring hands together in prayer. Again, you're pressing elbow into knee and knee into elbow. And if you'd like to go one extra, tuck your back toe, lift your back knee. And we'll hold five, four, three, two, and one, lower the back knee, release the twist. You're gonna turn and come back into your goddess, keeping those hips low. This time, bring your hands to the insides of your thighs, and you're going to roll the right shoulder forwards and press the right hand into the right thigh, sending the thigh back. Try and lower your chest to sink down a little bit. Hold for an inhale. Exhale to release. Now on the left side, rolling the left shoulder in, pressing the thigh away. Hold for an inhale. Exhale, release. Come back through center. Extend your legs. Bring your feet in parallel. And you can step to the top of your mat. Open your feet as wide as your mat. Heels stay where they are, but the feet will turn out. Then nice and slow, bend your knees, sink your hips down into Malasana. You may find that you need to lift the heels here to make it accessible to come all the way down. So if you need to do that, no biggie. That's a way that you can modify. Once you find your Malasana, option to use the hands as stabilizers, or you can bring hands into prayer at heart center. Roll your shoulders down your back, broaden your chest, lift from the crown of your head. Find a place to focus your gaze and come back to your breath, breathing in through your nose, out through your nose or mouth. Wonderful. Lower the hands, then lift your hips a little bit and edge your feet in hips width. Plant your hands all together, then lifting your heels, rest your knees on the backs of your arms. If you're new to crow pose, you may find that you want to just stay here. If you'd like to come into the balance, start shifting your weight forwards. Keep looking forwards. Then you could either experiment just lifting one foot at a time, or possibly lifting both feet, coming into the full expression of crow. Keep your elbows bent. Think of gripping the mat, making spiders with your hands. And we'll hold three, two, and one. Wonderful, lower the feet, coming straight into a forward fold. In your fold, you can either stay in stillness or take ragdoll, holding opposite elbow, rocking side to side. Letting it all go. Slowing down your breathing. Good. Now plant your hands. Step back into tabletop. So we'll come down to hands and knees. From here, keep your hips in line with your knees, but walk your hands forwards. Sink your chest down into puppy pose. So we're looking to really open the chest and the shoulders. Think of your heart weighing you down like an anchor, sinking down to the mat. This can be really intense also, so work with your breath. Good, inhale and lift your chest. Now come down onto your forearms. You're looking to have the forearms uh, forearms distance apart. So you can hold on to your inner elbows, measure the distance, and then open the arms back out. From here, tuck your toes and lift your hips. We're coming into a dolphin. So you may find that the heels stay lifted, the knees stay bent. That's okay, you can work it like that. If you're a little bit more familiar, you could begin walking your feet in, extending the legs, grounding through the heels. 
Lastly, bring chin into chest. Remember to push the floor away, creating that stability. I know it's challenging. Stay with me as we hold five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Rebend your knees. Walk your feet back and down into tabletop. Plant your hands, come up. Then thread your right arm under your left, coming in to thread the needle. So lower the shoulder, lower the side of your head, and wrap your left arm behind your back, coming into a bind. Now you have the option to stay here if you'd like a more restorative pose. If you've still got some energy in the tank, tuck your toes to create stability and extend your left leg. Start to lean more weight onto the right side. And then when you find that balance point, Lift your left leg. It is a wobbly one, so go slow. Your body is always adjusting, just figuring it out. So stay patient with yourself. And we'll hold for three, two, one. Lower that knee back down. Come back into your tabletop. And we'll switch. So threading left arm under right, lower the head and the shoulder. Right arm reaches behind the back in a bind. Option two, stay here. If you're coming into the balance, tuck your toes to create stability. Then extend your right leg. Start shifting your weight to the left and feel for where your balance is, for where your center of gravity lies. When you find it, lift the right leg. It can feel really wobbly in the beginning, so take a moment to give your body a chance to figure this one out. And then we'll hold three, two, and one. Wonderful. Lower your knee. We'll come back into tabletop. And then bring the knees together now. Hips sit back on the heels. Bring your belly towards your thigh. Crown of the head, or forehead should I say, down on the mat. This time reach your arms back. So you're bringing your body into a ball. And the hands can hold onto the heels. We're just beginning to switch gear now, so slowing things down. As you hold this pose, you may already begin to feel your body winding down. Your breath is beginning to steady. Maybe your mind is feeling a little clearer. Just notice all of these different things going on. Just observe without judgment. And staying in that place of presence, come and sit yourself up. Swing your legs round and come and lie down on your back. And as you lie down, you can bend both knees. And as you bend the knees, you may notice that your back naturally arches. So we're looking to decompress the lower back here. So lift your hips and tilt your pelvis. Think of tucking a tail in between your legs and then lower your lower back down. And you may find that there's now no more gap. So you've just created a little bit more space at the lower back so we can decompress. And with that, let your knees knock side to side. So gentle movement, nothing major. Then bring your knees together now. Scoot your hips to the right side of your mat. So you create all this space on the left side. Hug your knees into your chest. 
then let your knees fall to the left into that space that you've just created. The left hand can rest on the right knee and the right arm will reach out to the right side. You have the option to look up or turn your head to the right. Wherever you find yourself, soften your eyes closed. We'll begin to unwind even more as we come to the end of this practice. Bring your awareness back to your body. Just notice how you feel, what kind of energy you've cultivated. Lift the knees back up. This time you'll scoot your hips over to the left. Lift your knees into your chest and then let your knees fall to the right. Left arm will reach out to the left side and the right hand can rest on your legs. And you can turn your head or keep the head gazing up. Make any changes you need to so that you can Completely settle into stillness here. And returning your attention back to your breath. Bringing the knees back up, hips to the middle of the mat. Then keeping your feet together, open your knees wide. Rest your hands on your belly. If your shoulders have risen up by your ears, roll them down your back. And with that, begin to soften any other areas of your body that you're still holding tension. As we lie here, we'll do a body scan together. So starting at your forehead, begin to soften the muscles there. Let your eyebrows feel a little heavier as they relax. Moving down into your cheeks and the jaw. Just relaxing, letting your tongue rest on the bottom of your mouth. Moving down into your neck and your shoulders. Again, letting go of any tension. Allow yourself to feel heavier. Continue down into each arm, fully letting go, traveling down into your chest, just noticing the rise and fall of your rib cage with each breath, sending awareness down into the belly, feel the space beneath your hands. 
relax that area. There's no need to hold it in. No need to be strong anymore. Moving down into the hips. Relaxing the inner groin so that each leg can open a little more out to the side. Moving down into each thigh. Relaxing. Going down to your knees. Lower legs. Ankles and feet, softening every muscle, relaxing your whole body. Stay present with your awareness of your body. You have the option to stay in the position you're in or extend your arms and legs to come into Shavasana, our final posture for this practice. Nothing left to do here but be and breathe. Becoming aware of the space around you. Start to move your fingers and toes. As you get some sensation back in the body, hug your knees into your chest and roll onto one side. And you can take a few moments here in this position of safety, just savoring these next few moments as you give yourself a hug. Thank yourself for showing up to this practice. Meeting me back in a comfortable seat. We'll keep the eyes closed for now. So just staying with those feelings of cultivated, that sense of calm, groundedness. We'll finish with the breath together. So breathing in through your nose. Exhale to sigh it out and blinking the eyes open when you're ready. Thank you so much for joining me for class. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and I would love to hear your experience from the mat. So if you do have time, please leave a comment. I love hearing from you and I always make a point of getting back to people. That's also a great place to put in any requests for future classes. So if you've got an idea or there's something that you really wanna work on, maybe a specific pose, pop it in there and I'll make something for you in the weeks to come. Thank you again for your time. Namaste. Thank mm -hmm. you.